Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. was just chosen to be the 46th President of the United States, a position he will assume on January 20th, 2021. Who is he? What work has he done? Biden was born in Scranton, Pennsylvania, but most of his career has been spent in Delaware. In college, he studied political science and put it into practice when he was admitted onto the council for his county in Delaware. He was well liked and aspired to seek higher office, but in 1972, his wife and daughter were killed in a car accident. Biden considered dropping out of politics, but eventually decided against it. This proved to be beneficial for Biden's career, as less than a month later, he was sworn in as a senator for Delaware. He was only 30 years old when he was sworn in, making him one of the youngest senators in U.S. history. His actions in the Senate tell a story of a large shift from more moderate and conservative views to more progressive thinking. When he began, Biden was against abortion, as well as gay marriage, as shown through the numerous bills and acts that he supported, namely the 1996 Defense of Marriage Act, which federally defined marriage as unity between one man and one woman. Along with this, in 1993, he supported the ban of homosexuals from the military. In addition, there have been multiple policies that Biden supported that have been cited for targeting black Americans. In 1991, Biden has been described as being largely ineffective in the hearings of Anita Hill, who accused Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas of sexual harassment. However, 1994 marked a turning point, as Biden passed the Violence Against Women Act, which serves to protect female victims of domestic violence, as well as the federal assault weapons ban. Biden has been commended for his straightforward nature, as well as his tendency to play devil's advocate in order to reach the most precise decision in government meetings. During his time as a senator, he also served as the chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee as well as the chair of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. In 2008, President Barack Obama asked Biden to become his running mate. Biden would remain as the vice president for both of Obama's terms. Under Obama, Biden would oversee many of the president's projects as well as act as Senate leader. Biden was especially effective in the 2008 economic crisis where he oversaw parts of the relief bill that were passed. Biden has now repeatedly pushed for more liberal policies, a stark contrast from where he started. Now, with his presidential win, the nation should expect to see these policies begin to be put in place, as Biden strives to be more progressive.